everyone, we're going to find the indefinite integral of x squared times e to the negative x power dx using integration by parts. Um, this is what we have. Um, this is a polynomial f here. This is exponent here. So usually when you choose your u dv, we want uh, u to be what comes first. So this is going to be our u because the trick uh, or the exponential function, this is first and this is second. This is a little mnemonic device uh, you may use. All right, it makes things a little easier. So we're going to, u, we want to set it up this way. So our u is going to be x squared. Now we need a du. So our du is going to be 2x dx. Okay, so therefore our dv is going to be this, which is e to the power of negative x dx. So now we need our v. So our v is just going to be equal to the integral of e to the negative x dx, and that just equals negative e to the negative x. So now we can uh, use our formula, and we're going to get uh, u times v is going to be negative x squared, e to the negative x power and then minus your integral and we're going to write v du and that's going to be negative 2 x e to the negative x dx. Now uh, this uh, simplifies to uh, we have two negatives so what I can do is I'm going to erase it so this is just going to equal to plus here. All right, now um, we're going to have to integrate this again. So what we're going to do is get, um, uh, let's see, we can put the plus C here. Let's not, let's do dv. U is going to be, in this case, we're looking at this, um, 2x. So du equals 2dx, and then our uh, dv is going to equal e to the negative x dx. So therefore our v equals the same what we got before. <coughs> it's just going to be negative e to the negative x. Alright, so we're going to have to integrate this again. So this is going to end up being, you might want to copy all this down. We're going to get um, negative x squared e to the negative x minus 2x e to the negative x and that's this is our second integration and then we're going to have minus again the integral of negative 2e to the negative x dx all right this simplifies to once you uh, integrate that you're going to get negative x squared e to the negative x minus 2x e to the negative x and then we're going to integrate this so we're going to have um, this ends up being a positive but when you integrate this we're going to get negative again so it's going to be negative 2 e to the negative x plus c and that is your final answer thank you have a nice day bye bye